Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to present my paper uh, in Ivy Call International Virtual Conference on Language and Literature 2020, uh, organized by Polytechnic Negeri Malang. Uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Titin Indrianti. Uh, I'm a teacher at State Polytechnic of Malang, Polytechnic Negeri Malang, um, in, in Business Administration Department. Then, now, I'd like to share my slide. Okay, for today's presentations, I paste my presentations uh, from uh, my paper entitled Oral Communication Difficulties a Review at an ESP Class Setting. Let me begin with the background of my study. Uh, in today's uh, era, uh, we all see that communication role in human interactions is uh, very essential because communication has become a tool of social interactions either to bring about or to continue relationship. However, communication is closely linked to one's ability of a verbal language. People who know a language are always thought to be the speakers of that language as well. Then English uh, has been regarded as a lingua franca, as the language of the world used by most speakers uh, in this world uh, with different languages. Then uh, because of that, English has taken a crucial function into this communication era because it will open more opportunity uh, for the speakers uh, to be employed and paid well. Uh, as a matter of fact, Performing oral communication in English is uh, usually seen as uh, something problematic, especially for non-native speakers of English. In the English for Specific Purposes classes, the problems of oral communications even seems to be uh, more visible, including in Indonesian context. It is frequently noticed that the students, especially in Indonesian context, that they are shy to speak up. They always read when having a presentation. They feel uneasy to speak. They are inarticulate, and many other problems of speaking faced by the students. It is also um, sometimes found that the students are quite fluent in speaking English, but they produce an insufficient accuracy of English, like a mispronunciation or producing clear grammatical mistakes. Those things, uh, however, result in minimal direct exposures to the target language because uh, the speakers feel that, that they have no capability to speak English, then uh, they minimize their exposure to the target language itself. A study by Sirokrar in 2020 in Medan, Medan is a northern, not part, northern part of Indonesia, uh, exactly it is uh, not Sumatra, found that the English teacher made use of uh, translanguaging method when teaching English in vocational schools. Translanguaging here means that they uh, shift their uh, uh, teaching instruction into Indonesians, between Indonesians and English, or even to, in the, their local, using their local languages. Then based on those underlying background, then I put the objective of my study uh, to figure out the student's perspective of the English oral communication difficulties in the ESP class at the Business Administration Department 
State Polytechnic of Malang. I also put some literature review in my study. Uh, first of all, speaking or oral communications is uh, seen as one kind of a productive skill in language learning. Then oral communication models in this case, in this case can include presentations, speeches, discussions, conversation, and so forth. Then the students' problems in performing oral communications, uh, some studies have found that uh, it is due to their anxiety, shyness, feeling afraid of making mistakes, lack of self-esteem and motivations. Meanwhile, linguistic factors also play import important roles in uh, making the students uh, facing difficulties in uh, speaking like pronunciation, grammar, and also vocabulary. Uh, but uh, the reality shows that the language teachings is uh, uh, mostly invested in speaking. The teaching of speaking uh, should be talking about, should be discussing, or should be touching on the, the whole concept of the target language, meaningful context and automacy, and incorporating, it must be incorporating the teaching of pronunciation uh, to be the important points to consider when teaching speaking. The emphasis, however, is on input accuracy and also fluency. Accuracy in this uh, uh, sense uh, has something to do with a clear and articulate grammatically and phonologically correct uh, production of the language and the fluency has something to do with the flowing and the natural product natural productions of the language then in the SP teaching English is required especially speaking yeah? speaking is required due to the facts uh, a study by Ocean Pera in 2014 mentioned or found that the, in Japanese based multinational corporation Conversational skill, this is one of the uh, speaking activity, is a key aspect of effective cross-cultural business communications that uh, this skill opens a higher chance of success in the workplace environment. Then the mostly applied communications in the workplace uh, uh, is believed or is found that uh, those of speeches presentations, discussions, and aspect of interpersonal communication. Then here I'd like to uh, tell you about the research method that I applied for my study. I use uh, quantitative research design. Then the, my populations were the freshmen or the first year students taking business administration subject. Uh, this, uh, from the populations, there, there was a sampling procedure. It is a purposive random sampling. Then the data collected through the distribution of questionnaire to elicit the respondents' problems in performing oral communications, and which is uh, divided into two domains of factors. The effective factors, which entails points of students' anxiety, attitude and motivation in speaking English and the other factors include the student's aptitude like student's comprehension, pronunciation, vocabulary, IT expressions and English skills. Then the data were analyzed uh, on the basis of uh, organizations in a it was it were the data were organized into a tabular form to uh, 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 to present the percentage of each option indicated by the respondents. Then the, the findings of my study are things like this. From the effective factors, it was found that most students faced fear anytime when they had to communicate in English, especially when they were assigned to choose speaking in front of the class. 
then the students uh, were lack of confidence to speak English. The students had a belief that they had no ability to speak English. Most of them, uh, however, this is uh, something uh, um, a little bit encouraging because the students uh, confessed they didn't feel shy to communicate in English. They didn't feel worried to be left by their friends when uh, making mistakes in speaking English. Then the students had no worry if their friends would see them differently uh, as if uh, being seen as being arrogant or uh, they are uh, uh, regarding as someone showing off uh, in the, their English ability then the student had no worry about being criticized by the lecturer. The students didn't feel friends were not sportive. I do not uh, know this, why uh, they thought like this. Maybe it was because uh, their classmates were quite um, solid to each other. Then the students said nothing. The family were the sources of their English oral difficulties. The students did not think either that the lecturers were the sources of their English oral difficulties. The students did not think that topics to discuss in a, in a speaking uh, uh, session uh, had become the problems of their hesitations. Then the student uh, thought that they would be willing to use English when they were ready to speak, uh, when they were, they thought that the uh, they were quite competent later in English. From the cognitive factors, it was found that the students faced difficulties in understanding the native speaker's language. Uh, it is more specifically uh, dealing with the specif specific accent like British or Australian. But they did not find difficulties in understanding the spoken English of the non-native speakers. Uh, from the view of uh, their capability, the students confessed their pronunciations was not good. They also found that uh, they had limited vocabulary. They found difficulties uh, dealing with the uh, expressing ideas and opinions in English. They found that the grammar had been the most troublesome uh, factor to inhibit them speaking English. In this case, the students also needed time to think uh, the expressions in Indonesian first before translating them into English. So it might take uh, sometimes the students to, to speak up. Then the students felt the lack of background knowledge of the topics being discussed, although uh, from the effective factors, uh, topics had, no become, had, had not become uh, their problems. The students preferred listening, reading, and writing to speaking. Uh, they felt that they could listen better than speaking, they comprehended English reading text better than speaking, and they performed better in writing than in speaking. So from those findings, I come into the conclusion that the students' speaking problems indeed occur, either from the effective factors or cognitive factors. The effective factors entail uh, the problems of anxiety, attitude and also motivations. Meanwhile, the cognitive factors comprise uh, their aptitude or abilities in speaking English. So in my study, I also put forth some recommendations. First, the student should be given more exposures to English speaking through a variety of speaking activities like out loud reading, why I might mention out loud reading, although it, has, it deals with reading, but the, at least the students produce something from their mouth. Yeah? Uh, they speak something, uh, although 
uh, it is the source is uh, reading the text the source of the activity i mean then storytelling conversations role playing discussions meeting presentations etc can be a kind of, of speaking activities that the teacher can try out to their students during the class session the students are to be facilitated as well with the atmosphere to practice and expose their oral communication in english in turn those things will enhance their confidence and familiarity with english spoken language then the other ones uh, that i uh, recommend is that uh, it is of a high necessity in the teaching of speaking to insert vocabulary and grammar and also pronunciation teaching because uh, those three elements vocabulary grammar and pronunciations all together will aid the students with more competence comp competencies abilities yeah, proficiency in speaking english i think uh, that's all from me uh, that's all about my presentations on of my paper thank you very much for your uh, attention and goodbye thank you